in her terrain. Um, and uh, once we have our left wing done and we're happy that it's in the right place and the right size and the right height, um, we can go over with our fine liner if we wish, or maybe not, you don't need to. Um, but what I'll do is I'm rubbing out all the lines around it. So I'm rubbing out all of the, um, the, the boxes, the grid lines around it. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make our perspective lettering or our perspective, our perspective lines that are going to come back from the from the name to make this lettering look 3D. And what I want to do is kind of get a central point. So I'm pretty sure that my my the length of my page I think is 42. So I'm going to mark a little a halfway point. Um, 21 centimeters up here. Now, if you have it on a loose sheet, you just fold it in half and, and mark it like that. But a, a lot of you are doing this in your sketchbook, so you can um, just measure it. And I'm a little bit down from the top of my page. Maybe I guess if we're going three centimeters from the bottom, it probably is good to go three centimeters from the top as well. And that, that makes it nice and balanced. Okay, so that's what we've got. This little mark here is where our, I'm going to put VP here. And that's called the vanishing point, okay? And what we will do is, each of our corners of our letters are going to go to the vanishing point. And this is, this is we will mark from the very corner of our letters up to the vanishing point here, okay? And the where this comes from, this is what our began to do back during Renaissance times in order to make things look 3D. So where you really find vanishing points and van and perspective really important is in drawing buildings and roads or anything that's really kind of 3D and um, and I suppose geometrical especially. So as you can see I started on my outside letters here. I started with my my L and my D, and I think that's how I'm going to maybe just do. So I'm taking that point, the corner of my L, and lining my ruler so that it's going just to that VP, that vanishing point up there. And this is what I end up with. Okay. And what we end up getting is um, really good 3D looking lettering. Okay, so I'm bringing my eye up here. I'm going to bring it a bit closer because it's too far out. That N is kind of so and again lads I have this straight up like this because I don't want to be moving the video all the time but if I were not I would be moving this to make it a little bit easier on myself um, and also, you know, I haven't anything underneath this, which is not a great idea because the bumps are coming through a little bit on my drawing. So keep a sheet of paper underneath your drawing or or if you're doing it in your sketchbook, that's even better. So with the D, I'm just going to take it from here. Yeah. So... That's a fair bit of it. That's the top parts, okay? What can make this look really cool then is if you if you do the sides as well. 
So you could just do your lettering where you just have your top parts of the letters in here, like that's the top of the E, that's the top of the L, etc. So what I might do is I might colour that so you can see that, and then we may add to that. Uh, some shading here and what I've tried to do is just to begin with show you is have it kind of lighter at the back as it goes back and then getting darker towards the front so I'm going to build that up a little bit more as I go along but what I want I'm just going to show you quickly how I do, do this so you can see I'm using my rubber a little bit to rub out the pencil lines a little bit as well um, I'm starting off really light I think it's good to start off light and then if you if it works so if you want to, you can build up the colours a little bit more as you go as you go along. And um, I'm colouring it red. I think it works well if you colour the letters at the front one colour, and then the um, the the colour the stuff going back in another colour. As you can see. Well, I've, as I've done this here, you can kind of see that um, red for the letters and then the background, the only back um, is is uh, different. So. And in this one, it's the opposite. I went dark in the back and light at the front, which actually probably might look a bit better, to be honest with you. But we, I've done it the opposite here just to, just to try it out. Um, my pencil isn't that sharp, so it's always good to have your pencil nice and sharp, boys. And just you can see, I've done everything in kind of a pink. Then I'm going to really lightly go over it because I want it really to be a, a red color. But I'm just using the pink to lighten darker at the front here, and then lighter going back. Think about what colour you're using, what would you like the colours to be your favourite, something to do with your favourite football club, would you just like the, the, it to be different tones of your favourite colour, um, so you think about that as well. I'm going to rub out some of those lines a little bit now that I got that, that down. I'm going to go over that with my, I like to do this, I like to kind of get rid of the, of the pencil line and just go over with my colour and pencil. Light, 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 light. Just getting as you've done before when you're doing your shading with your um when we're drawing our hands, and then kind of getting stronger as we come down here. Nice. 
to do it for long. So what, what we're going to do next is, the A doesn't have a kind of a decent stem to go up. But if I drew an A that had a little square at the top, that would work. But not in the, we haven't done that in this case, so I'll show you what we're going to do now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw our um, the side. So that's kind of going to go up like this. So this is going to be the side part. So with something like the D, it's a funny, with the A, it's kind of easy because you've gotten the bottom letter here. So the bottom here. So what we just do is we, we join it up. So you can probably see here, though. I actually can't draw that line the whole way up because it's going over my letter. So I just draw a little bit there. Just, okay. And when I start colouring this in, it's going to make a little bit more sense to you. We'll try with the N again. You can see here. I'm going right down to the bottom. And... Now, what I would suggest to you is experiment with your pencil first, right? Don't do this straight off the bat like me because it might look wrong. I decide, okay, well, I'm not going to do that there or you might go off. So make sure it looks good. It looks 3D. It's going to look. And what I would do is have my really darker. Uh, red inside here. You're kind of beginning to see that 3D quality coming out. Same here. I'm going to get this kind of nice and dark and red in here. Kind of what I like to do is kind of keep it darkish around the edges, like the shadow being cast, and then kind of a little bit lighter in the middle. I'm going to maybe use my circling motion here, make that look kind of nice and smooth. Move that up there. Still going to get a bit lighter going up towards the back though as well. So we want to show that too. See my D. Hmm, I think I want to go from there. Yeah, I can't go from anywhere, but that's kind of the furthest point out. Let's see what this is going to look like when I do this.
finishing off there, lads, I used a different colour for the lettering at the front. Um, and what I like to use is maybe a, 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 I'm, I'm using a light and a dark of the green. So I like to, like what I've done here as well, kind of have the light, a light, little bit of light and dark. Here I have the light coming from one side and kind of dark in the middle. Um, and then this one, I'm going with kind of a, a light kind of uh, tone on the inside. And then I'm putting my kind of dark around the edges. I finished off most of the, the different lines, as you can see the dark, the inside one kind of dark. So you saw the top ones I did here from the top stems and they're light. And then you can add in these extra ones if you wish, okay? Um, this, for example, you don't need to add them all in either. You can see what it looks like. I added this one in, the, in at the end and I think it will be better without it. So sometimes, don't you don't need to do too much but when you add that extra stem in it looks really it looks really 3d it looks like a little wall coming down in either side and in some places like where it's really at the middle you can't there's no extra line to draw because it just it just blends in with the other so if there isn't anything extra to draw don't draw it but if you can in some places you can just give that little hint of the extra like here as well you can do so and it just helps to make it look a little bit more 3D. So you can keep it more simple than this where you just look at drawing the lines from the top of the letters or if you want, you can do the extra at the side. Take your time. It takes a while to do. You might get it all done in one go, but enjoy it. That's the main thing. Okay, bye-bye.